I'm Sam. And I'm Mary. And, and welcome, welcome to the Academy, Academy News. News. There will be an open house tonight from 6 to 7.30 and is open for anyone who would want to attend. Picture day will be held on Friday, September 4th for all underclassmen. Makeup day for those pictures will be held on September 25th and that is available for all upper and lower classmen. On Thursday, September 3rd, HOSA will be holding a meeting for any questions anyone may have about the club. The meeting will take place in Ms. McCallum's room right after school. And now let's take a look at this week's STEM Spotlight. Good morning, Academy. Here is your STEM highlight for the week. By the year 2018, 71% of all U.S. jobs will require STEM skills, even if they are not classified as STEM positions. Have a great week! Wow, that was really interesting. I didn't know that. Duke University will be coming to the Academy to present any information about their school. This event will be held on September 9th at 7 p.m. and is open to anyone. For more information or to register, please go to the link located at the bottom of the screen. The first robotics team meeting will be held on Thursday, September 3rd from 3 to 4 p.m. in Mr. Seller's room. Join, join, join! So Sam, what did you do over the summer? Well, I actually went to Texas and I toured the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. What about you? Nothing. Wow. That's really relaxing, Mary. <laughs> Let's go find out what the kids at the Academy did over their summer. Hello everyone, my name is Paul and I'm here with the lovely Miss Belcher. Miss Belcher, Thank you. <laughs> what did you do over the summer? Um, actually, I took a trip to Boston. Um, we played a lot of volleyball. Yeah, um, I went to Ecuador. Oh, nice. Yeah, I went nice. to Hawaii. I mean, they traveled the world. I went to uh, Yale University, believe it or not. Cindy, what did you do over the summer? Oh, okay. Cindy, what did you do over the summer? I went to Kansas. Well, I flew to Kansas to hang out with my aunts and uncles. Another person going to Kansas. Cool. Not related at all, we promise. And I went to Harvard University. I got fat. <laughs> well, over the summer, I uh, went out of town. And uh, I went to Yukon University. In Telehente. Uh, yes, of course. Worked a lot. Yeah, me too. The whole time. <laughs> but I guess it's okay to be back at school. What a blast. Sounds like the kids at the Academy have had a lot of fun this summer. They have. Seniors, don't forget that Ed Op Day will be held on September 10th. And for any underclassmen who would like to attend, you can go to CCU beginning at 6.30 p.m. Reminder to any students who missed the first TSA meeting, you can contact Mr. Scott, Mr. Johnson, or Ms. C. Simone for any information that you missed. Student Council campaigning has been going on this week, and so far things are looking pretty good. Voting will be held on September 8th during your first block class. Student Council will also be selling t-shirts on September 8th. You can get your order slips in by then. So Mary, have you ever wondered what it's like to be in any other major? I kind of have. I've always wanted to be an art major. Let's go check out what they're doing in the art major. Hello, my name is Jamie Franklin. I'm an advanced art uh, instructor here at the Academy, of course. Uh, I work with Mr. Spivey. We both work with the juniors and seniors in the advanced art major, but we also offer art one and art two and AP art. Um, the new juniors are adapting very well to the Academy experience and environment. I think having them come and, and be a part of a welcome at the end of the year last year really set it off and set the tone. Their summer work is amazing. They've done a fantastic job. So they've set the bar really high. They're going to have to do a lot to continue to achieve that high level. My favorite part of teaching the course, especially with the advanced art major, is seeing each student become an artist in their particular way identifying the styles that they like to design and what they like to come up with and seeing them grow as artists. And our ultimate goal, of course, is to make them become a walking, talking, thinking artist. The art major looks really interesting. Too bad we can't draw. <laughs> Remember students and staff, the school's logo is always something to be upheld and not defaced. Together we can ensure that the school's image can be perceived positively. You know what's my favorite thing to do when I get bored? What's that? I love doing dub smashes. Those are awesome. I've heard some of the teachers have been trying it out. I wish I had an extra finger, then I can grab my cheese ball. I'm taking a nap! You want to take a nap? <laughs> I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. <laughs> We're going on a trip and I feel like a ship swimming through the sky, little Einstein. Wake up 
everybody. Sunshine, sunrise, wake up. Uh. Hey, y'all. I'm Paula Dean. What did you do? I shaved my eyebrows. Why did you do that? I don't know. What I did? Huh? What I do? You you've been bad today. What I do? You don't remember? What? What you okay. do? Did you LeBron James? LeBron James? LeBron James? LeBron James? LeBron James? Chicken nuggets is like my family. Hit me one time. Hit me two times. Hit me three times. Let go. What's nine plus ten? 21? You stupid. Live long and prosper. You know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know I'm not happy. I they is Lady Gaga! Our teachers are pretty funny. Yeah, they are. Don't forget there's no school on September 7th, so don't come. <laughs> well, that's it for this Academy News. Until next time. Oh, I think they like me. Clean pair of sneaks with a D's down her belt. Please watch your step, cause I'm feeling myself. Throw a flag on the plate, man, somebody.